Hey film fans, my name is David. This is Film Collector Archive and today we will be taking a look at the Second Sight 4K limited edition box set for the 1970s Martin Scorsese classic, Mean Streets. I am really excited to have this edition of this Martin Scorsese classic, Main Streets, in the collection. Um, this is a film I have only seen once before, and boy, does it pack a punch. I really, really enjoy this film, and uh, is one that I'm very excited to revisit uh, via this uh, 4K transfer um, that was done uh, between uh, Second Sight and Criterion. So if you own the 4K Criterion offering of Mean Streets, that is coming from the same transfer that is included here. And that's about where the similarities end. The packaging on these is quite a bit different. Um, I love Criterion, but uh, for me, uh, Second Sight is the one that got my money on this one. Um, the packaging here is absolutely stellar. I love the artwork that, that they went with here. The artwork on the Criterion Edition is fantastic as well, um, but I don't know. For me, it's it's Second Sight is is gonna win, <laughs> uh, is gonna win that battle uh, just just for me personally. But uh, really glad that we have a 4K restoration on the film, regardless of which edition you pick up. Um, the film is the most important thing, and really glad that we have that. Now, the last time. Uh, that I watched, the, or the last and only time that I've watched this film was by way of a Warner Brothers uh, gangster set. There was a couple gangster film sets that were uh, put out by Warner Brothers, and uh, this was included um, in one of those, and so that's, that's where I saw uh, the film. And I don't remember, transfer-wise, how good or bad that looked. Um, it's, it's been... Uh, you know, definitely a few years since I've seen it, so I won't really have anything fresh in my mind as far as what I can compare it to, um, but I know the work that Criterion and Second Sight do, and so uh, I'm positive this is going to be a, uh, you know, the best version of this film that I've ever seen, for sure. Um, this comes before Goodfellas, and I'm trying to remember if this is before... Uh, Taxi Driver, I believe it is. I believe it predates even Taxi Driver. Um, sorry, I was trying to find the year on here. Um, and this is, uh, you know, a 4K disc, and so this is a nice region-free offering here from Second Sight. And that's the nice thing, uh, you know, largely with the 4K format being region-free that uh, you know, you can go with the Criterion or the Second Sight Edition and kind of regardless of where you live, uh, you know, the disc will play for you. But anyways, um, I'm excited to switch over to the overhead camera so we can take a uh, deep dive into this box set and see what's included here and so that you can be informed on whether or not this is a purchase that you'd like to make or if maybe you'd like to go for the Criterion Edition instead. At time of filming this video, this edition is still in print. Um, Second Sight, they they definitely go out of print. So if the uh, limited edition box set is something that you're interested in, I would advise you on making that purchase sooner rather than later. There is always the standard offering as well from Second Sight, which is just the kind of the standard 4K or Blu-ray case with the disc, no uh, you know, book or any of the extras like that included. But uh, for a lot of people, that is enough. So you, of course, still get the, you know, the beautiful new transfer of the film and the on-disc special features. So let's go ahead and switch over to the overhead camera now and get this beautiful box set unboxed. All right, we are greatly spoiled here with another Second Sight release, a beautiful release here of Martin Scorsese's Mean Streets. Let's go ahead and pull off the plastic so that we can take a look at what's included here. Um, this is uh, one of those sets that includes a really stellar uh, hardbound book. Um, by no means is this a booklet that's included. It's it is a full-on hardbound book that could be sold separately very easily. Um, 
But uh, here you go with the J card. Let's go ahead and take that off. There's the artwork that continues onto the back of the box there. Go ahead and flip that to the front, but give you an opportunity here to uh, pause if you'd like and take a look at the special features, limited edition contents, and then the um, the brief synopsis here. But as you can see, the, the book that's included here, the hardback book, is 178 pages, so quite the undertaking. Um, this last year, uh, the highlight for me in 2023 was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre release from Second Sight. That book was absolutely awesome to make my way through. Um, so much information and just so well put together. And that is... Uh, Definitely looks to be uh, the case here as well, so I cannot wait. Um, I'm, I'm such a bookworm, so that's always the highlight for me. I, I definitely like to highlight the books in my unboxings, and and you know maybe maybe to the annoyance of some, but I just I love a good book. Uh, so yeah, you can go ahead and pause there. But that is the J card that is included. I'll go ahead and set that aside, and here's the again the beautiful box. Um, no, it's got a nice matte finish to it and it's almost, I don't think that's, yeah, it's not quite spot glossing, but it's got a really, really nice finish to it. I have to say, um, and here is the spine. So nice thick box here. And then again, that artwork, uh, continues through to the back. I, I love, love the design that they went with here. And here's a look at the contents. This is where the discs are housed. Here's the art cards, and the main show here is this uh, this book that's included. Oh, sorry if you heard my laptop there. We're gonna go ahead and close that. Um, you don't need to hear when I get notifications. I uh, yeah, so just really beautiful. Let's go ahead and pull the contents out here. We'll go ahead and set our box aside. Um, let's go ahead and take a look first how the discs are housed. So again, the art direction here continues through, but instead of the uh, the white backdrop, we have the black uh, backdrop, kind of a nightfall here almost, which is pretty cool. And here we are on the inside. So no, it looks like no artwork um, to speak of behind the discs, but really great. Uh, disc art there really really like that and with our dual format you get the 4k and the blu-ray disc which is great i've kind of come to appreciate these dual format releases having both the 4k and blu-ray options but um, and again the supplements are included on each of these discs so you can pop in the 4k or the blu-ray you're going to get the same uh, offering of supplements. You don't have to jump uh, jump between discs at all. Um, so that is how the discs are housed. Set that aside. And then next up, let's take a look at uh, the art cards. Uh, throw the paper out there. And looks like there's no, no artwork to speak of on the back of the card. So we'll just take a look at the fronts here. Um, and then it looks like we, we do have, uh, some reviews, um, of the film and then you get the, the, uh, new artwork there. So really cool presentation, kind of this lobby card type presentation. There we have a young Robert De Niro. Um, yeah, really looking forward to, uh, to revisiting this film uh, really, really soon. Yeah. And these have a nice matte finish to them. No, no glossy finish here. Tensions are rising in the film here. And we are back to the beginning. So that is uh, the art cards. And then last but most certainly not least here, we have our hardbound book. Wow, what a stunner, folks. This looks amazing. You can see just an absolute beast of a book here. Um, nice matte finish. 
Um, wow, just wonderful. Here we have the contents. Um, you can see that goes through to almost nearly 200 pages, over 175 pages. Uh, but there's the cast and crew, and then the essays, acknowledgements, and production credits. Here's our cast and crew information, and then we jump right into some stills from the film. And then here we have extract from Scorsese on Scorsese, edited by Ian Christie and David Thompson. Um, now, we're not, unfortunately, going to be able to go page by page here, but want to give you a really good idea of what to expect uh, on uh, with, with the book here. Um, so nice large type font there with some quotes throughout from the reading material, but just so much, I, um, so much to get through here. I think I saw Pauline Kael's name. I'm not sure what she thought of this film. That'd be interesting to go. I, ha I have uh, a lot of her reviews uh, in a uh, book that I've got. It'd be interesting to go read her thoughts on the film. Um, but yeah, lots of great pictures. Obviously, a lot of great text here. Uh, I really like the design throughout the book. Um, some more stills. And then acknowledgments and production credits. Nothing to speak of on in terms of the end papers. Just the black paper there. But then again, just this awesome logo. And nice contrast between the book and the main cover of the box set. Um, just absolutely beautiful. And then that design there on the back is just superb. Again, contrasting. There you get a direct contrast. The same uh, hand with the finger on the trigger there. So really, really neat. So we've got the book. I like, I like to go book and then art cards and then the film. Um, but that's just me. I, you know, one of my OCD tendencies to have to have things a very specific way, but uh, very, very beautiful set here. Really cannot go wrong with this offering here from Second Sight for Martin Scorsese's Main Streets. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for coming by the channel today and watching this video. I do sincerely appreciate your time. And I always appreciate it when you guys leave comments. Let me know down in the comments section what your thoughts are on this Martin Scorsese classic. Is this a film you've seen? Is this one that you've that's maybe been on your radar for a lot of years and you haven't quite seen yet? Or is this something that's completely new to you? Let me know and let me know what edition you plan on picking up for your collection if that's the route you decide to go. And if you're new to this channel and you like talking film and film collecting, if you like watching unboxing videos, I invite you to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and finally the bell icon as that will notify you when I upload new videos in the future. And until next time, I hope you're able to watch a lot of great films.